After finishing the regular season with another AFC East division title and the number two seed in the conference, the Buffalo Bills are set to host the Pittsburgh Steelers in the wildcard round on Sunday at 1 p.m. Welcome back to the Bills Bunker. As always, I'm Jake Varco, and I'm still uh, trying to get back home. Right now, I'm in Fort Lauderdale. My flight is delayed. I'm just trying to make it back home so I can get to this game. I will be in attendance at that Steelers-Bills game as long as everything goes smoothly. So, hope to see you there. Stay tuned for the reaction video coming from there. We're gonna be doing a reaction video, interviews, tons of other fun content. Uh, but if you haven't yet, make sure you click subscribe. Stay tuned for other content coming your way. I'm getting a couple crazy looks in this airport right now, talking to the camera. I don't care. We have a preview to do. Let's do it. Now, obviously on this channel, we know all about the storybook season. It's been for the Buffalo Bills. So let's start this video by introducing their opponents from Pittsburgh. The Steelers, they snuck into the final wildcard spot after defeating Baltimore's backups in week 18. But unfortunately in that game, they had a massive loss. Losing TJ Watt, who has been ruled out for this game, and obviously former defensive player of the year, stellar pass rusher, that's a massive loss for this team. But even without TJ Watt, the Bills can't make the mistake of overlooking that Steelers defensive unit. They're a stellar unit, exceptional, and they're being led by a defensive minded head coach in Mike Tomlin. That Steelers defense, they had 16 interceptions on the season and that could present some problems for Josh Allen. When you consider that paired with the potential of a snow game, I'm really expecting James Cook to get involved early and often in this game. Also look for Josh Allen to contribute on the ground in the games that the Bills need to win. That's when Josh uses his legs most. This is obviously a must win game in the playoffs. He contributed for 15 touchdowns in the regular season look for him to add more in this game. On the other side of the ball, the Steelers are being led by Mason Rudolph under center. He's led the way for the Steelers in the last three games, passing for three touchdowns with no interceptions and a rating of 118, pretty impressive. The biggest threat on the Steelers offense though, it's definitely Najee Harris. Uh, this team loves to play a ground and pound style, try to keep the opposing team's offense off the field. That's, that's just the style of the Steelers. Currently, the Bills are favored by 10 points on the spread according to FanDuel, and that makes sense when you consider the quarterbacks, the setting, and the rosters involved in this game. Now, on paper, obviously the Bills are the better team, but the Steelers are one of those teams that they're gritty. You can't afford to sleep on this team, especially when you consider the conditions that are expected for this one. That Steelers defense keeps them in most games, and I'm expecting the same, especially with the snow that's coming in in this one. Uh, the Steelers and Bills are both hot right now. Pittsburgh, they're riding a three-game win streak, while Buffalo has won five straight. But unfortunately for one of these teams, their streak is going to come to an end and their season with it. Before I close out this video, I'd like to get a score prediction from you in the comment section down below. And uh, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Check out other content on the channel. It's been a crazy week down here. Uh, tons of content being released, so check that all out stay tuned for more stuff coming your way as i mentioned gotta get back home but when i do i'll be at that steelers bills wildcard game so excited thanks for watching i gotta catch a flight go bills